Hello, this is Dee with Divine Needle, and this is an Age of Aquarius Spiritual Path Tarot reading for September the 14th, day 85, AOA. It is going to be a moon day. It happens to be 6.06 .06 p.m. right now as I look at the clock. Interesting. Judas Priest, you got another thing coming. Just popped into my head. Huh. Wonder what that's about. Huh. All right. <laughs> you got another thing coming. That one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Day 85 tomorrow, Monday. Overall energy. Overall energy for day 85. Overall energy for day 85. Overall energy. Mm -hmm. Boy, that part. cards are being weird. Or I am. Monday, day 85, please. Overall energy. Wow, really? Wow, that's a book. That can't be right. Oh. here. He won. He ten. Or it's a ten. Reduces to a one. Fifteen reduces six. And a six. Eight. Seven. Hmm. Manifesting. Standing in our power. That is so long. Dark Horse Archangel of Glory. Hmm. Manifesting our way out of a fight with the demon somehow. Reminiscing and being bound by the threads of fate, but standing in our power, Archangel of Glory, which is the um, King of Wands. All right, we're, I'm making note of that, but we're starting over. Because that's just too much. <sighs> okay, guys. <sighs> Overall energy. They're telling me to take it. Oh. Really? Really? That was a lot. Oh. Are they at the bottom? What did I do with them? Mm. 
There they are. Okay, we'll take it. All right. So be it. Whew. 6.11. I just glanced at the clock. 6.11. With the two major arcana, we have six and a one. Actually, <laughs> these two cards are this are um, the eleven. And this is six six eleven p.m. Hmm, what are you guys up to? And I feel odd and jittery. I don't know what's going on. I was fine until I started the reading. What is this energy all about? All right. What's our highest priority for day 85 tomorrow? The 14th? Of September, Moon Day. What's our highest priority? What is our highest priority? It's very strange. Because I felt fine. And now I don't. What is this all about? Gabriel's up here right in my ear. Got another thing coming. That's what Gabriel said. That song in my head. Judas Priest. Judas Priest. Interesting name for a band, wouldn't you say? Wow, right in my ear. Okay. Okay, there we go. Highest priority for tomorrow. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho. That's major right there. Wow. Okay. All right, what do we need to be mindful of and or prepare for? What do we need to be mindful of and or prepare for? All right, okay, you wanted those two. All right, that's funny because that cut that that night was at the bottom of the deck. A moment ago. There's two knights here. Ooh, the night of air and the night of water. Ooh. Fascinating. And the underlying four scepters. The demi urge. Okay. And another knight. Wowza. All right, here we go. Let's dig into this one. Four scepters. I can literally feel my heart beating. Like I said, I was fine and now I'm not. I don't know. All right, four scepters. <clears throat> the demiurge builds our physical platform of success. 
This is the attending spirit who guides your intangible idea into tangible work product in the material world. The demiurge marks progress, achievement attained, and is the spirit presence with you through a monotonous rite of passage. The demiurge is the spirit to help you cull from the spiritual or intellectual plane and bring perfected work into form on the physical plane. Your foundation. That's what you're building upon. It's your empire in the background. It's your castle. Your home, foundation, in your inner self or relationships with others. It's what you are built, what you have built brick by brick with the sweat and tears of the three of orbs. <laughs> brick by brick, stone by stone, right? Okay. So that's underlying. And then we have this humongous stack. And I'm going to get through them as quickly as possible. Do I need to read them? Or read them? Read them. We'll go back over these one more time. This is the whole over overlying energy for the day. The magician, someone that manifests as above, so below. Very burdened. Could be with fear or could be with addictions. reminiscing about the past and feeling bound by the threads of fate but standing in your power as the king of scepters which is um, this king is the kind of king that has your back you are the dark horse Blindsides the naysayers. Come out. Hmm. All right. So manifesting fear about past memories, something that's burdening you, feeling tied up by the threads of fate because of this um, but you're going to blindside the naysayers you're the dark horse the one that's not projected to win but does you stand in your power as the king that goes and gets what he wants This guy is the kind that will jump into a battle quickly to protect you. Or you will with the demon. Huh. That's the overall energy for tomorrow. That's a huge amount of energy. It's interesting that 611 that was going on there. Um, huh. All right, I'm going to go back to, and I don't need to, I can tell you what this is. My mirror as well. My mirror as well is right here in the background. That well is full of wisdom 
Odin was willing to lose an eye to gain the wisdom from that well. I believe Odin is Adonai, aka Inky. Hmm. And victory. Wish fulfillment and victory tomorrow. That is the highest priority. You are the dark horse. You're going to stand in your power. You will have wish fulfillment and victory over the demon tomorrow. You will manifest what you want. As a proper king. A fiery one, I might add. It may have something to do with your foundation. With your home. Could even be the planet. It is our foundation, at least in the 3D. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I'm just going direct with this reading. Um, I'm, the book is aside for this one. The Shining Dew. This is the Knight of Cups. This is moving forward in communication, in love. And also moving forward in truth and clarity. You know something and you're moving forward with it. Communicating it with love. Something about this victory that you're having over the demon. You're going to be out communicating it. And moving forward. Wow. Hmm. All right. Interesting uh, day for Moon Day. <laughs> goddess Day. The moon represents the goddess. A day of fasting for me. And now we fast on Mondays. Sometimes on Jupiter Day, Thursday. Hmm. Fascinating. Wasn't expecting this reading at all. <laughs> I actually was thinking about not doing a reading until I got cues that, and I felt that gnawing at the back of my neck, you need to do the reading. <laughs> and then this weirdness come out. And then the weird energy, and you got another thing coming. Well, the demon's got another thing coming for sure. Hmm. All right, guys. <laughs> Heads up. Interesting day tomorrow. Day 85. Yeah. Day 85. AOA. Love you. Beyond reason. <laughs>